Hello everyone, it's your boy Nornrad89 here. Today we're going to be bringing you another Bleach Immortal Souls video. I'm going to be talking about my formation, some of the new characters I'm working into there, some tips on character types and how to lay out your formations for your team and all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned for that. Also, if you guys are interested, there's a Bleach Immortal Souls Discord server. It has great info on it, an FAQ section. There's some good people on there. The devs drop announcements and everything, so it's a great way to get all kinds of info and helpful tips and everything to get you started on what to do and what not to do. Now we're going to get into some gameplay and everything, so let's roll it. Boy Norn Rad 89 here with another Bleach Immortal Souls video today. Today we're going to be talking about formations and the layouts of the characters and different character types and everything and such like that. So right now this is my main formation that I'm using for story mode and everything. So I got this lineup. Usually you traditionally want to keep your front row as your tanks or certain skill characters sometimes, but you usually want to keep your main attackers on your back row because they're the squishier type characters and everything and right now i keep orahime on the back row because she's on my main healer joshiru who is an attacker and ichigo who's an attacker and then i keep mario katasuchi up front because for being he is an attacker and i mean he's a skill type but he is like kind of an attacker too as well dealing poison damage and paralyzed as well but the fact is his health pool is a lot higher than Jashiru and Ichigo and Orihime, so I keep him up front with Momo. And then I have my tank character who does AoE silence, Rangiku. So that's the main crew that I'm running for story mode right now. Elite mode, I run this crew right here. And then I have Toshiru and Chad and Yoruichi as my assist characters and everything right now for guard stance. So... Basically, that's what I'm running for Elite in Battle Arena, which is serving me pretty good right now. Story mode, I'm on, let's see, I'm on Chapter 9, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I'm on Chapter 9. They're Stage 9 right now, working that section of the mode. And these are all my characters. And like I said, yeah, Mario, like he's got just like a bigger health pool, like way bigger. Look at that, like 62k compared to Ichigo, who's 45 and Jashiru, who's 51, so definitely keeping him up front, I don't mind doing that and stuff. And Orihime is a lot squishier, too, at 43, so for story mode, I keep her in back, like I said. Momo's really squishy, but for right now, I'd rather have her up front and stuff like that. So Shiru, I'm thinking about working into my main lineup, kind of thinking about working on it because he does his defense reduction, and he also has a chance to freeze but I put a lot of work into Momo too, so these, these two right now are the ones that I'm kind of flip-flopping on at the moment. And I just got Mario and Ichigo to purple today. So those are my two first purple characters right now. I'm very happy with these guys. They're, they're beast. I'm loving these guys. I need to really get some of these upgrades in here. We're going to reset that, do some farming, get these gears upgraded right here. Because Ichigo does help. And for him, the War Soul that I'm currently working with on Ichigo. Let me upgrade this real quick. So the War Soul I'm currently working with him is the Battle Soul of Crimson. Which increases his attack by 450 and his bleed damage by 15%. So that really helps out because he adds bleed with his special and everything. And he's an attack character so it really increases his damage. And then for Mario, I have the Soul of Wrath on there. It increases his attack by 450 and his damage rate by 5%. Joshiru, I'm rocking the Soul Bear one to give him some more health. So I'm giving him some HP and stuff with 3,780 plus 4.5% HP. So I have him. And same thing with her, Rankiku. I have HP on her because she's one of my tank characters and she, she usually goes up front. Have health also on Orihime because she's really squishy. So I try to keep her alive as long as possible because she's my main healer and everything. And then Momo, let's see. On her, I'm running the Increase the Soul Bearer's Attack by 360 plus 4.5%. The Soul of Assault because she's an attacker. And she, she can do silence, but it's only a 75 or 70% chance to do her silence and everything. 
So those are the formations I've been working on and everything. And like I said, you usually typically want to keep your tanks and your skill characters in the front and your squishy attackers in the rear and everything. Also, definitely work on putting together a good lineup of characters that do multiple things like spreading debuffs or stunning characters, but you also want people who do poison and bleed as well because it's damage that just takes effect when the when your enemies take their turns and it just keeps soaking away at that health, you know what I mean? Also another good way to do some pretty good or better damage and better battling and stuff like that is when you go into your battles, you can actually well, let's see, let's we'll do a better example in like an arena right now. We'll go into arena. And when you battle, you can actually do it to where when you do manual the damage comes out better so you could you could put it on auto and auto is not bad and everything but you'll get more like this is locked on auto but you'll get more success like right now they'll do their moves and everything but you get more success off the moves when you actually play it manually in story mode so in story mode when you're hitting or elite mode when you hit those nodes that you're like really stuck on or you can't seem to get by and your characters are dying you're going to want to play those manually so that way you can maximize your damage and everything. Also, the turn order of your characters when you're picking them. Like, say if I picked, like, for the skill at the bottom, like, if I picked Orihime first to go first, it would go in order next from left to right. So it would go Rangiku, Joshiru, Mario, Ichigo, and then Momo. Like, it would go down the line in that order. So it looks like we're going to win this battle. But yeah, just wanted to talk today about some of the formations and everything and character types and stuff and what, like, really get to know your characters. Like, the kits are very interesting. Really read them, get to know them. That's how you're going to be able to maximize your potential for your crew and, like, who you're going to be building up. Because there's going to be certain characters that will get you through early story mode and get you through the early game. But when you start getting into the late game, you're going to want to start thinking about replacing them for like a lot better characters and everything look at all those rewards we're claiming right now <laughs> but yeah definitely so still very happy with this game like i said oasis their company is very good and everything with this game and the devs and updating it excited about the new season pass like i said there'll be improvements on it probably coming when they do season two and everything like i said it's just I'm happy with the introduction of the update. It's a great new thing to the game for sure. Also, what I wanted to say is if you are a pay-to-play player, I would recommend the Biakuya, like the free recharge pack where you buy a free charge and get Biakuya. You just have to do it one time and you do get him. He's a very beneficial character. Like I have another account where I do pay-to-play where I pay and everything, and I got him like right off the bat, and he greatly helped some nodes I had difficulty on and like just when I had him it was more easier compared to I noticed when I was doing it free to play this in this profile. So I definitely recommend Biakia and he's a great 1v1 character and everything that'll definitely help you in certain game modes and stuff like that. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and everything. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button in the bottom right corner for me. We'll keep these videos coming. Catch you all later. Peace out.